the oil of the sick is of oil as a soothing ointment which in the normal course of events would be gently massaged onto the skin it is often used in the celebration of the sacrament of the sick bimaron ke masa ka paak tel is baat ki alamat hai ki ye nayi zindagi aur ruhani sukoon bakhshta hai ye tel aksar bimaron ke masa ke liye istemal kiya jata hai oh god father of all consolation who through your son jesus christ have will to heal the infirmities of the sick listen favorably to this prayer of faith send down from heaven we pray your holy spirit the paraclete upon this rich olive oil which you were pleased to bring forth from green trees to restore our bodies so that by your holy blessing this oil may be for anyone who is anointed with it a safeguard for body mind and spirit to take away every pain every infirmity and every sickness may it become your holy oil o lord blessed by you for our use we ask this jesus christ our lord متلاشیوں کا تیل اس پاک تیل کی اہمیت یہ ہے کہ یہ ان لوگوں کو مسا کرنے کے لیے استعمال کیا جاتا ہے جو بپتسما کے ذریعے مسیح کے نام کو قبول کرتے ہیں اور اس کی نئی زندگی اپنانے کی خواہش رکھتے ہیں دا سگنیفیکنس آف دس آئل از ٹو انوائنٹ اور بلیس آل دوز ہو وش ٹو بیکم ممبرز آف دا باڈی آف کرائسٹ through the sacrament of baptism O Lord God protector of all who believe in you bless this oil and give wisdom and strength to all who are anointed with it in preparation for their baptism bring them to a deeper understanding of the gospel help them to accept the challenge of christian living and lead them to the joy of new birth in the family of your church through Christ our lord oil of charism this oil is used during the ordination of priests whose hands are specially anointed with it symbolizing their daily offering of the holy eucharist and their priestly service پاک کرزما کا تیل کائنانہ خدمت کی مخصوصیت کے لیے استعمال کیا جاتا ہے تاکہ وہ مسا کیے ہوئے ہاتھوں سے خدا اور ان کے لوگوں کی خدمت کریں بشپ صاحب پاک کرزما کے تیل میں خوشبو ملائیں گے تاکہ اس کی انفریادت انفرادیت نمایاں ہو جائے our almighty father will bless the soil so that all who are anointed with it may be inwardly transformed and come to share in eternal salvation let us pray o god our maker source of all growth in holiness accept the joyful thanks and praise we offer in the name of your church in the beginning at your command the earth produced fruit bearing trees from the fruit of the olive tree you have provided us with oil for holy chrism the prophet david sang of the life and joy that the oil would bring us in the sacraments of your love after the avenging flood the dove returning to noah with an olive branch <coughs> announced your grace of peace this was a sign of a greater gift to come now the waters of baptism wash away the sins of men and by the anointing with olive oil 
you make us radiant with your joy. At your command, Aaron was washed with water and your servant Moses, his brother, anointed him priest. This too foreshadowed greater things to come. After your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, asked John the Baptist for baptism in the waters of the Jordan, you sent the Spirit upon him in the form of a dove. And by the witness of your own voice, you declared him to be your only well-begotten son. In this, you clearly fulfilled the prophecy of David, that Christ would be anointed with the oil of gladness beyond his fellow men. And so, Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless this oil you have created. Fill it with the power of your Holy Spirit through Christ your Son. It is from him that chrism takes its name. And with chrism, you have anointed for yourself priests and kings, prophets and martyrs. Make this chrism a sign of life and salvation for those who are to be born again in the waters of baptism. Wash away the evil they have inherited from sinful Adam. And when they are anointed with this holy oil, make them temples of your glory, radiant with the goodness of life that has its source in you. Through this sign of chrism, grant them royal, priestly, and prophetic honor, and clothe them with incorruption. Let this be indeed the chrism of salvation for those who will be born again of water and the Holy Spirit. May they come to share eternal life in the glory of your kingdom. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.